everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be building on my island primrose and i'm going to be building some house areas today which is super fun we love a house build on this channel now i'm going to be building around the area of ava's house and felicity's house the exterior of the house isn't currently decorated or changed in any way because i haven't even started the happy home paradise yet i should really think about starting it real soon though now before we get started though i'd love it if you could like comment and subscribe come and join the jellybean family now let's get stuck into this build so as you can see i've already placed down some road and yes that is collins road it's just amazing and i just love the colors of it and i did this so i could figure out where i wanted to place the houses i didn't want them in a straight line i wanted them kind of on this bendy road thing that i've done and i think i quite like it we'll see how it looks when i've decorated it all i'm sure it'll look better once there's loads of stuff around and i've cluttered it up a little bit i'm pretty sure and i'm in love with this simple fencing i've customized it in white and it just looks so adorable and so cute giving me real cottagecore vibes as well and I just think it's so lovely. Also I feel like we need to appreciate that Ava was doing a little dance down there outside her house. She's so cute, so underrated. I love her. I wasn't too sure what sort of path I wanted leading from the door to the road yet for the houses so I decided to go for the brick moss code that I've been using and I think it looks really really nice. I'm sure it'll look even better once I've put more stuff around it like I said. This area is just a little bit weird looking at the moment and I don't know why. I'm sure it'll be fine though once I've got some stuff down and now I swear this happens to me every single time I build I always end up speaking to the villager instead of putting an item down or fencing or whatever every single time without fail they must just love talking to me what can I say <laughs> so around the river I decided to put the stone fencing and yes you can see some hedging here as well I decided to use that just to break it up a little bit actually across the bridge across this river is actually where we built the cafe near the museum and where the fish and chips place was so yeah that's where we are on the map by the way all the codes that i'm using in today's video will be listed in the description down below i always try to update it on each video if i use new codes so if there's anything you haven't seen before it will be down there getting back to talking about this build we will be placing some furniture soon don't worry i just want to kind of get the shape and the structure a bit better of this area because i wasn't too sure what to do with it at first i think i'm just going to give them little cute yards each and then up this road i'll probably do some more houses but behind these houses I do have a different idea. I'm going to be building another build there and I'm also probably going to be placing Nook's Cranny. So look out for that. That might be my next build or the one after. We'll see. It depends how it goes, like how I move everything. We'll see. We'll see. Doing some more fence work. I decided to use the stone fence around here. I don't know why. I just like the combination of the stone fence and the simple fence. I think they look really, really nice together. And now in the little yards for each villager, I do like to pop down some of this grass code. I just think it takes away the plainness of the grass sometimes. Sometimes. I mean sometimes it's nice to just leave it plain like I'm gonna leave some places plain on this island where I think it will just look nice but yeah I definitely like to put that code down on the floor and then furniture on top. Well Felicity I gave her some of that plastic garden furniture. I believe it's just called garden table and garden chair I think. It's the plasticky looking one anyway but I've left it white because that's like the classic colour right? And now here we are next to Ava's house. I really like those little topiaries there. I think they look so cute. I've decided to give Ava this patchwork chair and I've customized it in like the creamy color it reminds me of a wing back chair which I feel is so grandma core aesthetic so definitely perfect for Ava I can't wait to see her sat there and yes I did time travel because when I was recording it looked very gray and very dark because it was going to rain so I've time traveled backwards and it's just as bad so it's okay we'll leave it you can still see what's going on so that's the main thing it will brighten up towards the end of the video when we do our look around and stuff but it's okay for now and I see Eunice has decided to actually turn up in this area as well i can't wait to do her little house i'll probably give her like a little sewing area because i can imagine her sewing some sweaters or some cardigans that's super cute and that's probably what i'll put inside our house as well when i get to that point point. and of course no villager yard would be complete without the clothesline so here it is i feel like it's such a staple item <laughs> it just is and it's cute i especially like this wooden one i think i've said that before but i like the wooden one better than the metal one just because i feel like it's a bit more cozy definitely a bit more natural and yeah I just prefer it but I would use the metal one in the right place if that makes sense so probably on a city island that would probably be better on there I will be wrapping the road 
all the way around these houses to meet to the other side so we'll do that in this video and I can see look there's like a little meeting going on here between Ava and Eunice I wonder what they're talking about I didn't actually stop to talk to them because it takes too much time sometimes they go on forever and I need to build so I'm gonna be decorating this side of the river as well and we're just gonna keep it simple we're gonna use some flowers and some fencing and that's basically all we're gonna use just to keep it nice and simple like I said I don't want to over decorate it too much which is easy enough for me to do because I love to clutter everything clutter on my island <laughs> although I had this cute code and I had to put that on the floor with a little bag of flowers it's made by crystal cat of course now I want to give these yards some more little finishing touches so I've given Felicity a little fruit pie there on her table and we stuck a bunny outside so it looks like little rabbits live around this area and for Ava I've decided to give her a glass jar full of wool so she can sit there and do some knitting and I've also given her some plants because I feel like she'd love to have plants in her yard she seems like a plant taking care of kind of chicken so now I'm just deciding what to do with this fencing here just to end it off by this road and I'm literally just gonna block it off and put some bushes in there and then use some trees and we're of course using the wheat field item again I love the wheat field item as you know so there was no way it wasn't gonna make a comeback in this video it's been in every build on Primrose since I've started so no exception right and now here I am just joining the roads up like I said I was going to I'm gonna obviously add Nook's Cranny behind here like I said and then another build but we'll talk about that when I actually get around to building it because I'm hoping there's enough space and I don't want to mention it yet so it's kind of a surprise also I'm hoping the idea works and it doesn't look weird so there's that as well. Now behind the houses I'm just gonna basically fill it in and make it look natural so we're using the wheat field items we got some flowers I think a birdhouse is a very cute addition here so that's why I popped that down and placing some rocks some bushes all that sort of stuff all the natural looking stuff apart from the birdhouse of course but I feel like the birdhouse is a must it just gives it that cutesy feel you know well I hope you know what I'm on about so we're just placing these last bits down now and then we should have finished the build so it is time to have a look around the area we've built today So that is it everyone, we have finished the build and the look around for today. I had fun as always building this area for Ava and Felicity and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I think my favourite yard out of both of these was probably Ava's just because I liked how cosy it felt and I love the little topiaries behind me and this little bench in front and the tiny library. Yeah, that was probably my favourite. Now if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, comment down below even if it's just hello. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come and join the Jelly Bean family i hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world friends and i'll see you in my next video goodbye